Welcome to Roman to Yoga. I'm Casey, and today we're going to go over a yoga block versus a stack of books. So if you want to know whether to invest in yoga props or just grab something around the house, then please keep watching. Thanks. The most important prop you can bring to practice is yourself. You don't need anything to have a great practice. First up is demoing a block and a yoga squat. This will bring elevation into your hips so you don't have to set them all the way down on the ground. The great thing about the block is it's sturdy, stable, and in this case, you don't feel like you're gonna fall over. Here, I stacked two teen sci-fi series, so I did feel a little bit wobbly, but I was able to bring up the hips a lot higher, which is great for beginners. If you're worried about rounding your spine over, you may want some blocks for um, a short lunge. As you can see, there's several variations on the block height. One issue that I found a little bit of struggle on when I used the books was one stack of books was a little bit higher on the right hand side, so my shoulder was coming up a bit. So that's something to keep in mind during your yoga practice. The Fino demo today will show how a block can add length to your practice if you want to go a little bit deeper. For books, you can get the same benefit. So what are you going to pick up? Do you feel that you need a prop for a complete yoga practice or grab whatever is around the house? Thanks for checking this out. Have a great day.